Investigators are still trying to identify the person who attempted to put out the fire. WHO 13 Zach Fisher joins us now. He is live near that damaged home in West Des Moines. And Zach, firefighters are also trying to drum up more support from state lawmakers right now. Yeah, that's right, Andy. A bill that they were trying to advance through session uh, died several weeks ago at the second funnel deadline. And you mentioned it too. We're right here on the scene where West Des Moines fire crews acting quickly and efficiently, putting itself aside for others. And the realization from firefighters around the state and here in Des Moines on the need for expanding coverage comes directly from the loss of two firefighters in Des Moines who died last year from cancer, within this last calendar year, rather. Those two individuals, Mike Broderick and Brian Stokes, had types of cancer that were not currently covered under Iowa code. This bill was able to make it out of the house about a month and a half ago, and it would expand state code to include all types of cancer under coverage for retired first responders, not just the 14 that currently exist. The legislation not making out of a Senate subcommittee before the second funnel deadline, and our state's firefighters never got a clear reason why the bill wasn't advanced. Well, over the last five years, we've seen a huge uptick in it, and um, we probably had our own neighborhood of 15 to 16 of our guys diagnosed with cancer. Some of those guys have gone off the job. Um, some of them have had some real success with treatments and those kinds of things. And there was really no indication of what the problem really was. So um, we're trying to figure that out, make sure that Senator Schultz has the questions answered that he needs, um, and anybody else in the Senate for that matter has the questions um, or the information that they need. Whatever we can do, we're gonna continue to do that. So you heard the name there, Senator Jason Schultz. He's the head of the subcommittee in the Senate. So he was in charge of it, not being advanced to that second funnel deadline. Joe says, you know, he wasn't quite sure why it wasn't advanced. He had some reasonings and Schultz has told reporters in the past that it was a city issue, whether it's the time off that the city would need to cover or insurance reasons. And Joe said that fire fire organizations all across the state are are talking with Republican lawmakers and uh, working to answer their questions or any concerns they have so this could actually pass next session. He talked about uh, West Des Moines firefighters trying to find that here. I was actually getting the water in the gas station right here and the clerk said uh, he watched the video over against the same a gas station where the person ran in, grabbed the fire extinguisher and ran into this home. We have the house identified so maybe we'll go uh, door knock and uh, tell them thank you. Tell them that uh, Western Point fires looking for it. Yeah, yeah want to point to point out that good work done by that bystander. Thank you, Zach. Yeah.